Goats, pigs, guinea fowl, and peacocks, too. Here in Olympia, Lost Peacock Creamery has it all. Today, I'm here to learn what goes into running a goat farm. One of the reasons I wanted to own a goat dairy is because I wanted a bunch of goats. Yeah. Rachel Toller and her husband Matthew are first-generation farmers. Together, they run the farm the way they raise their family, one step at a time. I was in the Air Force. I deployed to Iraq and then kind of got out and was looking for something to kind of make me feel more whole. Ended up getting a goat and I was like, this is so cool. Awesome. What job can I have where I just get to hang out with goats all day? Right. And I said, well, I know I'll start a goat dairy, which is actually like the stupidest thing you can do <laughs> because it's really hard. Yeah. But we're in our fourth season now and we kind of figured it out. I hear kind of like this screech every now and then. <laughs> so that's the peacocks. There's like 26 of them. We don't feed them, we don't house them, we don't water them. We just kind of share our lives with them. When we were first becoming a goat dairy, we were on the phone with each other saying, what are we doing? You know, we both had really good jobs. I was working in corporate America. He was a, an ER nurse. We made good money. Why, why change, right? Like, yeah. I was on the phone with him and this white peacock just shows up out of nowhere. We took it as a sign as, oh my gosh, we have to do this. Right. So we did it and we named the and dairy Lost Peacock, Lost Peacock Creamery. Come on, girls. Come on. When the dairy was first starting, I did a Kickstarter. And one of the things I sold was naming rights. Oh, I for love goats. it. That's a great. This idea. is Scarlett Oshev. This is Princess Snuggleton. This is Phoenix. Doozy's our guard llama, and that's her best friend, Emma. This is Lady Clara Von Chaserstock III. This is Hot Dog. The campers named her. And then her baby came out, and they named the baby Corn Dog. These are our employees, right? right. Like, you should like yeah. your employee. Exactly. Next, we met up with Matthew in the parlor, where goats come in to be milked twice a day. This is awesome. They're so calm. They want to be here because this is like their treat for the day. And I know which ones are the naughty ones and th that are going to get their heads in and they're going to try to get more grain, like that one. She, she usually does it. <laughs> Matthew's a registered nurse, but his real passion is farming. It's definitely not what I thought I'd be doing with my life. <laughs> I've always had an appreciation for homegrown food, appreciation for high quality food. Yeah. And that's, that's what we make. I mean, our goat milk is so good. I can live on it. We only milk 40 goats right now. In a whole day, I'll end up getting about 35 gallons. Like an average Holstein cow gives you between six and 10 gallons a day, where our goats give us around one gallon a day. Next, Matthew put me to work milking the goats. I'll turn on the thing and you can do it. Oh dear God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. All right, you're hired. Number one milkmaid. <laughs> our goal has always been to reduce our reliance on outside products. Growing our own food is a big thing. When the kids don't have any milk, I tell them, okay, go milk a goat. Go get it yourself. People are so disconnected from what it is to make food, to eat food. How lucky are we that we can produce 80% of the food that we eat. To end our tour, the Tollers let me try some of their goat cheese. I have to say, this tastes like a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. But all in so, one. Like, and zero carbs. That's so delicious. Good job. You can have that whole thing. <laughs>